Hi everyone, in this task you're going to find divisible numbers. So the task description says write a program that takes a divisor, a dividend lower limit and a dividend upper limit from the user and returns the numbers divisible by the divisor in the dividend range. So just to clarify something, uh, let's say we have 100 divided by 10, we get let's say 10 now let's say we do get 10 so 100 is our dividend divided by divisor we get the result so dividend divisor and then we get the result so these two parts so the divisor is going to be one number that we get from the user but the dividend is going to have a, a, a range we want to find which numbers which range of numbers are div can be perfectly divided or are divisible by the divisor that the user enters so that's it for the task uh, go ahead pause the video attempt the mini program i'm sure you're going to do great and you're going to see my solution after three seconds all right so how is the program i'm sure you did awesome first off let's uh, create the divisor divisor and i'm going to say int input and i'm going to ask the user to enter a divisor this is our divisor and we are going to create a dividend lower level uh, or lower limit so i'm just going to grab both of them i'm going to say dividend dividend lower limit lower limit so let me remove this remove this i could capitalize these just to make them look better lower limit and I'm just going to grab that. Let's remove this. Dividend, this is going to be upper limit. So upper limit. Enter a dividend lower limit and enter a dividend upper limit. Now I'm going to create a few if statements in case the user enters something that we do not want to be entered. So if the dividend lower limit is greater than the dividend upper limit, what do we want to do now these names they could be long but i just wanted them to be uh into uh, uh just well i just wanted them to make sense you could come up with shorter names in fact i do encourage that so i'm going to say print um the the lower limit lower limit limit uh cannot be cannot be less less than the upper limit so this is our first if statement then i'm going to say lf uh, the dividend lower limit is equal to the dividend upper limit so dividend upper limit and then i'm going to ask the user the dividend limits cannot be equal so i'm going to say the dividend the dividend limits cannot be equal perfect and then then for the final lf i'm going to say if the dividend upper limit is less than the divisor what i'm going to tell the user is that let me say the divisor cannot be larger than the upper limit perfect so now that we are done with this let's take a look at how this magic is implemented so uh okay so i'm just going to do one more lf i guess i gotta do that just to make sure that our divisor is not zero because we cannot divide by zero and it is not a negative number i'm not really cool with that is either so divisor is less than or equal to zero I'm just going to say print uh, the divisor divisor cannot be equal or uh, I'm just going to say cannot be zero or less zero or less 
Finally, we are going to take a look at the magic. So we have a range of numbers. So the way that I will be solving this is I'm going to use a list comprehension expression. So I'm going to say numbers range. And I'm going to open up um, brackets here. I'm going to say x for x in range. What is the range? The range is dividend lower limit to dividend upper limit plus 1. We know that, <clears throat> excuse me. So we do have this here. I could print this uh, on the screen so you can really see what we are actually working with. So I'm going to say print uh, numbers range. So let's open up terminal. Okay, let me save that first. Let's open up terminal and let's run this program. So it's going to ask for a divisor. I'm going to pass in 10, lower limit 1, upper limit 100. And you're going to, you can see that we get all of them. We get all of the numbers starting from 1 and going to 100. And this is the intention. We do want to get all the numbers from that and we want to store it inside this list. Because whenever we get all of these numbers, what do we get actually? We get an iterable. This iterable can be passed uh, within a map function or a filter function. That's exactly what we want. So I'm going to say result. I'm going to grab a list method because we need to convert it to a list. And I'm going to say filter using a lam lambda function. I'm going to say y. So this is our expression y for as long as y modulo uh, divisor is equal to zero. What does that mean? It means that whenever I grab any number from this list that I've highlighted and I divide it by the div divisor, the, res the remainder has to be zero. If it is zero, then it is perfectly divisible. And then I'm going to, I have to pass in an iterable. You can see it's highlighted and that is going to be the numbers range. This is going to return a list for us, so we can safely say the, uh, I'm just going to say numbers divisible by, let's grab our divisor, divisor r basically as follows. So now I can iterate over this for, hmm, I have used y, I have used x. I'm going to say for z in result, print z. Save this. Let me clear this. Let me run the program. So I want this divisor to be 10. The lower limit is going to be 1. The upper limit is going to be 100. And we know numbers divisible by 10 are 10, 20, all the way to 100. So, so far, so cool. Let's check for these corner cases. So I'm going to say divisor is zero, limit is, okay, I didn't do that. Let's run it again. Divisor is zero, dividend, uh, dividend lower limit is one, upper limit is 100. We're going to see that divisor cannot be zero or less. Perfect. So if it is minus one, one, 100, we're going to get the same error. Let's say divisor is 10, upper limit is 100, lower limit is 10. We do get that. The lower limit cannot be less than the upper limit. And uh, let me run it for one more time. Let's say the divisor is 100, lower limit is 1, upper limit is 99. You can see it says divisor cannot be larger than the upper limit. That's it for this mini program. See you in the next one.